Welcome back. I'm George, and we're glad to have you back with us again today. Um, we're going to do a, a video on uh, this load center that you'll find in your home or uh, in the shop if it's a sub panel, uh, and we'll describe more about that. But I, I, I need to get back to some basics so we can understand. Now, first of all, if you are unfamiliar with or you are shaky about uh, messing with electricity, uh, gosh, just turn this off and go to something else. Uh, it's not going to help you uh, unless you're just curious. Uh, but this is for those who you just want to delve into it uh, because it, it is safe. Um, but be cautious because a big mistake could kill you. We, I just have to be honest and upfront. All right. Um, look. Oh, if you would please comment below. Oh, I almost forget that. Subscribe. Share us with your friends. That's what keeps us alive. We have uh, in residential electricity, and this is for the U.S. and Canada only. Uh, the, the, the European Union and some other countries have a different way of, of wiring things, but uh, it, in, in the end, it all kind of makes sense anyway. Um, we, have, we run on 60 hertz, which is 60 cycles. So 60 times a second, something's happening. Uh, just understand that. In 240 volts or 120 volts, uh, we've got, I've got two diagrams here, and that's just to demonstrate uh, the two types of wire that, that, that I use around here. This is a four wire, so you'll have a black, a white, a red, and a green. And then we have three wire. Now, both of these are 12 gauge, so they'll carry a, a, a pretty good substantial amperage load. I have a white, a green, and a black. Now, uh, there is a such thing as a 240 volt three wire load. And then there's a 240 volt four wire load. And we're going to describe that so you'll understand the difference. So, um, here's, first of all, here's how we get 240 volts. Uh, here's a sine wave, I just a hand drawn sine wave. And you'll notice I've got a positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. That's 120 volts. At the same time, I have a negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, 120 volts. That's what's known as being 180 degrees out of phase. So this is actually separate phases of an electrical sine wave. The benefit of this, first of all, as opposed to this one, which is only a positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, 60 times a second, okay? Uh, the benefit between these two, this one is you get a little bit smoother action of um, constant power, voltage. Plus, you can actually add these two peaks together to get 240 volts. Where in this case, you'll only get 120 volts. I don't care how you wire it. It's only 120 volts, okay? So that's how that actually happens between the two. Now, and both of these can be used interchangeably. Let, let me explain that so that we make sure that we don't get too off track because we don't want to get too technical. Uh, you've got a red, a black, a white, and a green. Okay, Your red is hot, black is hot, white is neutral, and green is ground. So here you've got a red and a black. Lo and behold, if you use these two wires, you'll have 240 volts. Make sense? Okay. In this one, you have a black, white, and a green. This one is the black. So if you use the black and the white, you'll have 120 volts. We all know the green is ground. Okay. In both cases, green is ground. All right. A little bit more about ground later. But if we had a black and a white, on this wire, because this is a 12 gauge 4 wire, if we used a black and a white, we would have between these two 120 volts. Okay? If we used just the red and the white, we would have 120 volts. Okay? If we use the black and the red together, is when we have 240 volts. Now, why is that? Well, that is because there are appliances. Let's take, for instance, a range, your stove. Um, your heater elements and the heating element inside the stove is normally 240 volts. But you've got all this other stuff in there, all these dials and trinkets and things that make it work, uh, that turn it on controls <coughs> and the clock. Well, they normally run off 120 volts. 
or you've got some transformers in there that's run off 120 volts. So what you do is you'll tap the red and the black for your 240 volts and you don't need a, a neutral wire for 240 volts to work. It has its own neutral. Whereas 120 volts, you need the neutral for a return. All right. So you tap the red and the black, you got 240 volts. And then for those other instruments that are in there, you'll use either the black and a white or a red and a white to tap only 120 volts. See how simple that is? Now, for most of our 120 volt appliances, or devices, you use the black and the white, that gives you 120 volts, and the ground, that's for safety. But let's say, for instance, this is a 240 volt free wire system. That's possible. Very, very possible. So what we would do in that case, keep this in mind, it has to be on this cycle, not this one. So you can use this wire over here. And since 240 volts does not require a neutral, you can hook the black wire to the black, the white wire to where the red normally would have gone, and then the green, of course, to ground. Now you have 240 volts between these two lines instead of 120. And that would be for appliances that... Uh, uh, as an example, there are some dryers out there. You got a three-prong dryer, that's a hot, a hot, and a ground. Uh, you got a four-prong dryer, that's a hot, a hot, a neutral, and a ground. It's probably because the buzzer works off of 120 uh, volts. Uh, you'll have other appliances that'll have only a hot, a hot, and a, and a ground. And so that's a 240-volt uh, three-prong or three-wire. Or most conventions nowadays have uh, the four wire, but you'll still find them out there. There's, there's three wire, 240 volt uh, connections. 20 volt, you can tell by, by the plug, uh, or you're gonna use a 240 volt. Um, this way you can wire it safely and make it work. You see, because in 120 volt, you'll have a hot, a neutral, and a ground. So you'll have 120 volts going in and out. That's why it's 1,500 watts, 120 volts. In this particular case, you've only got two screws on the bottom, so you put a hot and a hot. So you'll have 120 volts going in one side and 120 volts going in the other side, but they will be out of phase, so that would be a total of 240 volts constant, and it gets hotter. The ground wire is for the appliance, or for the, you, you can put that right here on the plug, or you can hook it, screw it right directly to your device. So that's why it's so important for us, so that we can do this safely and effectively. But we just got to understand, now that we know that, how do we get to it? Stay tuned, and we're going to do a video right after this.